This is the outfit to Animal Kingdom that I wanted to show you. So this is the hubbies and he's just wearing some basketball shorts or a red like workout set. I just felt like wearing. This one's gonna be Avery's. So like I said, we are going to Animal Kingdom. I got these two custom made. And this one's Everly. Apparently I ordered the incorrect one cause this one's a small and like a young kid. And so it's pretty big, but let's go ahead and put this outfit on and hurry up and get to Animal Kingdom. It's a gloomy, gloomy day. Gloomy, gloomy day. We just parked, but we're heading to the tram area so we can be taken all the way over there. so if it's not stable sorry to Navi journey river or Navi river journey Kilimanjaro we're gonna go to that one next right here no that one's the flying flight of passage but we're heading there or we just parked the stroller now we're heading to Navi river journey got off the ride and I would definitely say Everly and Avery loved it they weren't scared which was a good thing but I wish it was a little bit longer but we are about to power walk to Africa because I forgot I made a dinner reservation at 30 because I heard their buffet style of food is really really good and so I reserved it and it's luckily near Kilimanjaro safari ride and so we're gonna go over there right after we eat because I'd rather the girls are fed and they're good and not hangry but it's definitely humid it's hot I'm sticky and my makeup is melting so I didn't put no lashes on because I knew that the glue is gonna melt off and it would melt into my eyes so I didn't wear no lashes 
my little sister Didi would be very upset that I didn't wear no lashes, but it's okay. Wall to wall, a little bit of walking because people don't know how to stay on one side. <laughs> if you've ever been to any Disney parks, you know what I'm talking about. When you're trying to power walk to a certain location and people are in your way or they don't know where to stand or they don't know where to... We are here, Africa. Hopefully I don't run into anybody. We are here. But looks like it's still going strong with the clouds, so hopefully it doesn't rain anytime soon. Tusker House, right there, right there. That's Tusker House right here. Mahama Mama because I mean Mama. Two more ten for Evan. Pick a boo. Where's Avery? Pick a boo. Where's Avery? Ha, ha, ha. 
It is humid. Honey, since we got the girls all washed up and everything, what do you think about the Tusker House restaurant? Uh, overall, it's pretty good. It's a little pricey, but you get to see a lot of uh, the characters. We saw the characters twice, so yeah. I mean. The food quality is actually pretty good for a buffet, though. Yeah. Like, you get unlimited, you get like unlimited food. If you want a certain food, you get, you can just ask and then they'll give it to you. But we are heading to Kilimanjaro Safaris. But overall, I liked it. I mean, I knew already that I was gonna like it, but the food quality was definitely surprising. And if we do end up coming back, we will definitely come back there. Man, that's a long waiting line. I know. We're trying to hurry up and run. <laughs> Hubby's power walking over here. Please be respectful. Please do not call out, whistle, make any loud noise. The forest is home to many animals that use their natural colors and markings to blend into their surroundings to avoid predators. Immediately on the left, there is a saddle built stork up on the hill. The saddle built stork get their name from the yellow saddle shaped shield on their bill. They stand up to five feet tall. The females have yellow eyes and their skull structures. Have both the okapi and giraffe have a long prehensile tongue to grab onto the food that they eat. That great antelope on your right, that is the greater kudu. The greater kudu stands up to 55 inches at the forest. Now, the okapi was also not recognized as an official animal in the Western world until 1901. We were also going to see if we can find them on the left up here. But hippos can be fully submerged under the water, feet long. She's so precious. Oh my gosh. The bones of their prey in just one snap but they can also be extremely gentle with their jaws. The Nile crocodile are very good parents and they will put the eggs of their young in their mouth and then they will roll tree because it appears to be growing upside down with the roots on the top. They store water in their trunk giving them another nickname which is the tree of life. The savannah has a very dry season so the animals will use the water stored in the baobab tree. The baobab tree will also remain leafless up to don't have stripes. Does anybody know what those things are? Any guesses? Hair. No, cool. Those are sweat stains. So they do change every single day. It's said that the Ancoli cattle that have spots are said to be lucky and of more value. Their nose. Their nose is black, so that is what makes them black with white stripes. A dazzle. And just like our fingerprints, no two stripe pattern on a zebra is exactly the same but the foals can identify their mother from her unique stripe pattern. A group of giraffes is called a tower. That's what's happening back there in the back. Their name in Swahili is Twiga. And the two bumps on top of their head, those are not horns because there's no bone in them. Those are called ossicones. Ossicones form because when a giraffe is scared of bees because they don't like the buzzing sound that they make, and they find many ways to keep cool, such as using their large ears as fans, which can decrease their body temperature up to 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Either they roll around in the mud or fling the mud on their backs with their trunks. And that is called mud bathing. Not only does mud bathing help... Lions spend most of their day laying around, sleeping, resting, doing practically nothing. Just got off the Kilimanjaro Safari. Tour. Safari right there. Bye. Okay, so everything is like closed like this. They have some places open a little bit right there. It's about the safari, honey. Safari is good. I like it. I learned a lot of new stuff. <laughs> I'm just I just appreciate that it was not that many people and was it like close up together. We got our own like space basically. Which is good. But Saw the uh, truck in front of us. Yeah, here is the tree of life, the mountain. We didn't get to explore that far out, I guess. Well, because Everly and Avery was still napping pretty late. So, all right, just took a thumbnail in front of Animal Kingdom. Oh, Shosha, we didn't really get to stay here that long, but 
these clouds looking pretty evil at this point right now so it's probably good that we're probably leaving everybody's trying to escape right now but we gotta head to the tram and then have to get off the tram and then head to our car so i'll close out this video once i get in the car we're heading back to the car say bye animal kingdom The girls are snacking on some fruit snacks. And so, we are officially saying peace out to Animal Kingdom. And, honey, what do you think about the whole Animal Kingdom quickie vlog? Yeah, I wish we had a little bit more time. I thought they were all going wrong. Yeah. yeah it's okay. It was just meant for us to go home. Unless they're closing because of the dark evil cloud over there. Maybe it's about to pour down rain, but either way, they closed down the um, animal closures enclosures pretty early. Uh, so either way, that's all I really wanted to see was the animals. And so I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video, and hopefully I can edit and upload either Magic Kingdom or Epcot, one of those. Hopefully I can get into it and hopefully start editing and post those up for you thumbs up if you like this type of video and also subscribe down below if you haven't already in the next video next vlog bye you guys all right see you in the next video bye, bye. bye.